Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Hope you're all doing well. In case you caught yesterday's video, uh, I said I was feeling a little bit under the weather, but feeling a lot better today. So we're going to be getting fired into a couple of text stories. But first, I do want to talk about a bit of a tech theory of mine when it comes to the naming scheme of the upcoming Ampere lineup of graphics cards, which according to the tease from yesterday from NVIDIA, we will be getting some more information at the end of the month on August 31st. So we're going to talk about some new rumors that have come up since then and also my tech theory in just a moment after this word from our sponsor. But first, today's video is brought to you by MMORC.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro, which you can get for just $15, as well as Office 2019 Pro and Office 365. And if you act right now, you can get an additional 27% off with my code JOK27 at checkout, and that'll knock the price down on Windows 10 Pro from $15.29 all the way down to $11.16. And of course, they accept a wide variety of payment from PayPal to credit cards to Bitcoin. So be sure to act now and hit up the links down in the description below. So first up, I want to talk about my tech theory. And this is just, this is really just about the naming scheme of these graphics cards. And I would love to get your guys' feedback in the comments below on whether you agree or disagree. Um, you know, I could end up being entirely wrong, but honestly, if you look at everything, it really makes a lot of sense. And it really just comes down to the numbers of these cards. And up until now, everyone has pretty much been referring to this as the RTX 3000 series of graphics cards. This is just the widely accepted, um, you know, numbers that we've assigned to these cards from the tech community although nothing has been said by NVIDIA whatsoever on what the numbers of these cards are going to be, and we probably won't find that out until August uh, 31st, whenever we get some more information. Some people are saying we just might get a more of a tease on the 31st, and then we'll get a full reveal on September 9th, um, and then maybe the cards will ship around the 17th. Um, but we really just don't know yet. I don't think it'll be a full t a t just a tease on the 31st. Um, but back to the, uh, the, the naming. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be called the RTX 3000 series, I think it's going to be the 2100 series. It just makes a hell of a lot more sense. Um, going from 2000 to 21, and then also if you look at the marketing that we got on the tease yesterday, they had that whole, the banner on their Twitter page that says 21 days, 21 years, the 21 days referring to when we're going to get the reveal or more information on August 31st, and then the 21 years referencing the beginning of when NVIDIA started making graphics cards 21 years ago. So that's 21s twice on there. And then why would they not go with 2180 or 2170 and all that? It comes right after 2000. Of course, 3000 would jump up an entire thousand there, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Typically, NVIDIA does that on like massive generational leaps. Going back to something like the 9800 GT, back then it was just GT and not GTX. And then when they went to GTX, the numbers started over. Back at, it was a, our, a GTX 280, and then we had that all the way up till the 1080. And obviously, yes, 10 did jump to 20, um, but that was because they went from GTX to RTX. And the only reason they had the 10 series is be, and, and rather sticking with the 100 is because, well, they ran out of them. They were at not the 900 series, then they went to the 10 series, and then they switched over to RTX. So huge generational leap in technology, just like we saw with GT to GTX. And now we see that again with RTX. So it just makes sense to go from the 2000 series to 2100. And then, you know, in a couple of years, we'll see the 2200 series all the way up until some point in the future where they get probably get rid of the RTX naming and then it switches to something completely different from that. So I just think this is going to be the 2100 series. That's just my, like I said, that's my theory. Uh, I think it makes a lot of sense in terms of what they have traditionally done uh, with their naming, with generational leaps going from GT to GTX and then RTX. I don't think they'll go 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, although it possibly could. I mean, they did use that no, those numbers back on GT, but I, I just I just have a feeling when you when you t when you consider that. Plus the fact that they had all these 21s uh, in their marketing material, 21 days, 21 years, 2100 series. Just It just kind of lines up perfectly if you think about it. So that's just my little bit of a fan tech theory, but let me know your thoughts on that down uh, in the comments below. And that I also said 
at the start of the video that we have got a couple of rumors that have come about in the last 24 hours. So we're going to head over to the web and again, take these with a hefty grain of salt. Uh, this first one, we're over on video cards, but uh, basically what they're saying is that a lot of the board partners have started to confirm um, that they are going to be launching their custom designs simultaneously alongside the Founders Edition cards in September. Although they, I don't think they said September, but that's when we're expecting these cards to release at this point. So whatever the Founders Edition cards come out, the rumor is saying that the add-in board cards will come out simultaneously, which will be nice, although they have not been doing that in recent years. We typically get the Founders Edition cards, and then a few weeks later, we'll start to see the add-in board cards from companies like Asus, EVGA, Gigabyte, so on and so forth, Galax, you know, you name it, MSI. Uh, all those companies would come weeks later but I think it would be really great to see these cards long, uh, launch alongside the Founders Edition cards. That way, people that want custom cooling solutions aren't forced to make uh, wait weeks. And also, I think this is much better uh, in terms of just, you know, showing some, uh, I, I guess, the, the generosity in terms uh, would be the best term I could think of right off the top of my head uh, between NVIDIA and the board partners. Because the way NVIDIA has been doing it with these Founders Edition cards... It almost it feels like Nvidia is trying to sort of undercut their board partners, almost like competition and putting their card out first so people will buy those rather than board partner cards. So it's kind of kind of scummy if you think about it that way. So seeing them launch right alongside, I think will be better for competition. Although Nvidia really shouldn't be in competition with their board partners. At the end of the day, they're buying their GPUs to use in their custom cooling solutions. They should be equals and not really competing with one each other. Of course, the add-in boards like MSI, Gigabyte, Asus, they're kind of competing with each other, but NVIDIA themselves should not be competing with those board partners. It just doesn't really seem right. Um, and I can't really think of any other industry where that really happens, although I'm sure someone will mention um, an example down in the comments below. But the current rumor is basically the launch alongside the Founders Edition cards, which will be great to see so that you guys that want those custom cooling don't have to wait uh, on the Founders cards. But you should wait anyway just to see uh, independent reviews from everyone out there. So, yeah, looking forward to that. And uh, hopefully they do launch alongside them. I think that'll be a very good uh, thing. Now, the next rumor, and again, rumor, huge rumor, take it with a grain of salt, is that NVIDIA on the 3080, or 2180, as I would prefer to call it right now, based on my theory, um, and this isn't just the 3080, not the not the TI model, uh, will actually be locked in the BIOS from 12 gigabytes to 10 gigabytes. So they would do that uh, in the BIOS right now until, uh, and you know, the, as part of the rumor, they're saying that the reason behind doing this is so that NVIDIA can wait to see what our DNA 2 can do, and if they basically feel threatened um, by Big Navi once they get more information on it, then they, then they could basically go into the BIOS and unlock the memory to uh, 12 gigabytes. So that's the theory right now, and it sounds a little bit far-fetched, but as Guru3D uh, pointed out, if you remember, they did AMD actually did something very similar with the 5700 cards with the XT going from 12 gigabytes up to 14 gigabits, uh, sorry, 12 gigabits, uh, 12 gigabits to 14 gigabits per second, two days right before those cards came out. And if you remember, that was a pretty big source of controversy as a lot of reviewers who had already uh, benchmarked the cards quite a bit uh, kind of had to go back and redo a lot of stuff because they basically changed the specs of the card uh, at the very last second. So to say that it's, hap it's happened before, it's happened before and AMD has did it and, you know, it was pretty shady when they did it. And, you know, to say, so to say NVIDIA, you know, could or could not do it, I would definitely say it's within the realm of possibility that they could have 12 gigabytes on board of these cards um, and then lock it to 10 and then change it at the last minute. Uh, to have more video memory on the cards. It's, it's certainly a possibility, although it doesn't seem likely for, um, you know, with speed versus actual amount of VRAM to put extra memory in the card that basically, you know, they have to pay for. I mean, the memory modules cost them money. Uh, so, I don't know, it sounds a little bit different compared to just having a little bit faster memory versus more memory. So, I don't really uh, put a lot of stock into this rumor, but hey, uh, stranger things have happened, so we'll just have to wait and see once we get more information on these cards. But that is all I have got for you guys today. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, especially on my uh, tech theory of the 2100 series. 
rather than it being the 3000 series. It just, just think about it, man. Think about it. It just makes sense. 21 days, 21 years, 2100 series. It's all, it's all, it's all falling into place, brother. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're not already and all that good shit. And I will uh, catch you tomorrow for another video. And I don't know what I want Scottish there, but it happened and I'm going to lead with it. So bye. Bye.